Hi, this is Ed with Ritchie Industries. Uh, today we're going to do a complete cleaning on a CT2. This is a Thrifty King 2 unit. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, pull off my cover here. Take a look. Uh, we're going to clean out the water seal here, the water groove. And uh, we'll do that when we take the top off because we're going to do a complete cleaning on this unit. So I've got my 916 open end wrench and a crescent wrench. I'm going to go ahead and get these loosened up. Just going to get this loose enough that I can get that nut off the bottom with my fingers. Well, I went ahead and removed my bolts on each side of my top. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this and tilt it so I can drain all the water and stuff out of my top water seal. There we got all that. Now I can use a rag or a brush if I have debris in here to clean the debris out of that. Not a very dirty unit, but we would go ahead and take our brush, you know, we would clean all around the inside, get all the corners, get all the stuff out. I'm going to clean my water seal groove here, the water track, and I can use a rag or something to go ahead and run that around if I have debris in there that needs to get cleaned out. Okay. We'll go ahead and make sure we get everything clean, everything, all the edges all cleaned off. I'm going to go ahead and pull one of my plugs. I have a plug on each side. Let's go ahead and pull one of those. I'm going to hold that float up and let that water drain away. So I'm holding my float so I don't have water running in here while it's draining. I'm just going to let that drain all the way down and get any debris or anything that's in the bottom. I want to make sure all of that goes over to a drain hole and gets out of the unit. Can go ahead and take out the drain on this side to drain both sides. Make sure all that water, all the debris, all the dirt, everything gets out. Okay, pretty well empty, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my plugs back in. Actually, I could, if I needed to, I could go ahead and run some water in there and you know kind of move that around and get any leftover debris or anything that's stuck in there and I'm gonna go ahead and put my plugs in and let that fill up so while that is filling I can use a small bucket or anything and I'm gonna put some water back in my water seal groove I can go ahead and get my top back on this unit while it's filling up. Make sure that track is good and clean. my bolt. Go ahead and put those back in place on that top.
I'm going to use my wrenches to go ahead and snug those tight. Okay. My float is now shutting off my water supply. Well, I need to get a little water back in my track up here. So I'm just going to take a little water and put it back in there. I can use a bucket or I can use my hand. Okay. I've got my float set so that my ball closures are sitting, you know, at least a half of an inch, half an inch to an inch below the, the place where they would be tight in my top panel. This allows any, any water that drips off an animal's mouth to get back into the unit and not create a freezing problem around the ball. I'm going to put my cover back on. There we have a clean CT2. Uh, if you have any questions about Richie products, please check us out at richiefount.com. Thank you.